Buongiorno. Very stick here. Where are we today? Well, we're back actually to a place called Castellone Mesa Marino. You can see it on the side of the scooter bus. Um, previously, we've been right up there at the top, uh, not down here. And I've got a couple of subscribers who are thinking about buying a property here. And both have said, what about further down where the shops and the bars are and the dentists and the doctors and the vets and all the rest of it and the school which is there sports hall what about having a look at all the stuff that make day-to-day -day living possible so we've come a little bit further down to the main part of Castiglione um, also where the market uh, takes place so let's have a look around it's, uh, it's certainly a town on different levels. Um, it can be fairly steep. We've got a nice sports hall there. Uh, and as uh, I mentioned, the school behind me, we've also got one of these, an electric charging point. So if you like your electric vehicles, or you've indeed got an electric vehicle, then uh, this is something for you. I've never used one, um, but certainly, becoming much more popular with their own parking spaces as well so what they've got to hear well we've got just about everything really butcher bakers candlestick makers got just about everything including several shops a couple of bars a pharmacy pharmacy to the right here and uh, plenty of things to have a go at just making our way up uh, towards the main street and this is the local doctors uh, apparently you can get an echographica there everything you need quite a smart building that large pharmacy we just uh, saw a few seconds ago kind of go hand in hand I know down there there's butchers and all kinds of things plenty of places to park so it's quite a car-friendly town, but it can be a bit steep. Whilst the town itself is kind of up in the mountains, it does have good connections to places like Chieti, Pescara. So you've got, you know, you've got the roads here that, uh, that can put you well, wherever you want to be, really. It's worth bearing in mind, though, that it is fairly high up. And then I'll run in here there's still a bit of snow uh, on the ground which uh, just about nowhere else so it, you know if, you, if you're going to invest here you have to bear in mind it can be a bit chilly and Mrs uh, Stick who stood behind me is dressed up like Nanook of the North with a, <laughs> with a fur lined parker on I don't know why it's not that cold uh, but that's all the roads there you can say Vasto Torre Bruna, Schiavi di Abruzzo have been there and lots of um, places in the Treno, Torino Senello mountains so uh, plenty of places to look at and go out from here for days post office, it's handy turn on your parcels, letters pay a lot of bills and things at the post office uh, so it's quite a good service there's also there a self-service petrol station petrol and diesel so that's cool nice houses and a mural, we like a mural you don't see a lot of them around here sorry about the wind blowing across the mic but it's a bit breezy today I was going to fly the drone but I don't think we're going to get the, uh, the opportunity how cool is that? <laughs>
there's uh, lots of little shops around here in general convenience store I suppose and groceries and things like that nice bike out the front there's hairdressers butchers as I said before all kinds of different places and it's uh, getting nice and open nice and wide there's no obstructions bankomat there looks like a bank actually as well as a bankomat so uh, plenty of places to see let's have a look up here there it seems to be a church as well as a lot of steps my word certainly uh, builds your calves up coming to places like this of that there is no doubt <laughs> Again, nice and wide. Big houses as well, two, three stories. But uh, plenty of space. Not a huge amount for sale, I must admit, but there are houses for sale. I'm sure if you check with your a preferred estate agent, there's one here, look. And uh, sure they could put you on the right trail three story and easy Well, we always ask the question, don't we? About fancying a project. Well, this has got, well, four stories and a balcony. Well, I think the municipal, the town hall's not far away from here either. Not that that should affect anything, but uh, this door's been around a while. If you fancy, give that number a ring. I've no idea who it is, but. Yeah, in the middle of a popular town as well, it could be a good rental property, hmm, who knows. Certainly quiet, I'd like to re-emphasise the fact that I do this during dinner time, so I think most people are having a bit of a siesta right now. Uh, is this a municipal? I don't know. Let's have a look. I like this here. Proper stonework. Keeps flaring out the camera, pointing into the sun, unfortunately, but uh, certainly very characterful. Also very accessible, which is important to some people. I do know because I get asked that question can we get a car in? I'm limited in mobility. Well, you don't want to go up there. <laughs> okay. The old GoPro does tend to flatten things out, but that, uh, that is not somewhere you're going to get without some good uh, calf muscles and knees that are in a good state of repair. I can assure you of that. Nice, though. And railings, at least. What's around this corner? You always get that, don't you? I don't want to walk up these steps, but what's around this corner? Oh my word. Uh, I did say that there wasn't an awful lot for sale around here. Uh, there are, so it's worth coming and having a look around, I think. Because there's quite a few doing things like that, which are certainly a project that's going to need some time and money. 
Love this old place. Look at that stonework. Wow. Locked up door. <laughs> Time gone by. Very pretty. In fact, all the windows are blocked up here. Get a bit windy as well. But we don't mind that. Well, real character. And we got a rose out. Isn't that nice. Not much left of it, <laughs> but it's a rose. Another Vendisi, oh my word. So many of them. Some cats down there. Don't tell my mum. No, my mum doesn't like uh, cats. Very on with her. She'd like this character though. I wonder what that's for. Can you see that? Sticking out the side of the house there. Like a big hook thing. Yeah, never seen one of them before. Mrs. Stick and I appear to have got lost. Again. We always seem to get lost. We came here to look at the shops. No, not the old medieval part of the of the of the town. But it is a place where you can have both ancient history, like this beautifully restored property here. And you have access to doctors, dentists, bars, shops, a school. There's a hospital here as well. I'll try and take a picture of that on the way out. So if you're thinking about moving here permanently, it's an ideal place. It really is, you've got everything. But as I say, it can be steep in places and it can be a little chilly in the winter as well, but the views are sublime. If you check back, uh, my previous upload on Castiglione Messa Marino then you will find uh, some lovely views across the valley look at this you can even insure your car home I think and all kinds of different things so you've got an insurance agent there um, I think we saw earlier a bank or is it just a bankomat? A bankomat in Italy is like the cash machine I don't know. Looks like a bank. If it is, that's another bonus, isn't it? That's another tick in the box. And if you're thinking about moving here permanently, or even a holiday home, you know, you need things like this. What we got here? Yeah, it's a bank. And it's got a banker mat. It does. An ATM. I just don't know if you can see that just in there. So, uh, huh. we've certainly got everything we need. What a great place. History, facilities, wide roads, plenty of places to park. What's not to like? And I would imagine also, Jean's Shop Sport. And I imagine some great walks around here as well and some lovely buildings. So, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, second visit to uh, Castiglione. Hey, a visit, pretty place. Maybe just see some of the hills and mountains behind us. I could hear old van goes past, car. And some of the wonderful buildings. It's definitely worth getting up here and having a look around if you like exploring because there's plenty of places to explore uh, as well as down here is up way up there behind them buildings <laughs> here's a place where we were originally so i hope you enjoyed that tour please don't uh, forget to like and subscribe to the channel feel free to share this video with anyone you might think might be interested uh, leave any comments on the uh, box below so until next time this is Vario Stick from Castiglione Messa Marina saying ciao ciao for now. <laughs>